Welcome to the garden. Today we're out in front of our marigolds and I'm doing a couple different things today with these. You can eat them raw, the, just the petals, and they make an excellent garnish for salads. They're so bright and beautiful. But they're also eaten dried and crushed as a spice and they're compared to saffron which is incredibly expensive but marigolds are so cheap that I think it's an interesting alternative. So I'm going to try drying some petals and when they're dry I'm going to pulverize them and give them a taste. But I'm just drying these like I do with all my herbs and just set them out either in a sunny window or I use the basement, we have a nice dry area. But these are a great companion plant to your vegetables and herbs because they're, well they're said to deter nematodes and uh, even rabbits and deer. Although I've seen my rabbits eating these so I don't really buy into that. But they can also be used to dye wool and silk. And they have quite a bit of color in them when they're just about dry, like these ones here. I tried fresh and I didn't get much. I tried really dry and again not much. But right about here where they're sort of half dry is when they release a lot of their colors. But there's so many variations. They come in like bright yellow and orange to hues of red that are just painted with little yellow stripes, all sorts of variations on these colors. So they're so beautiful and they bloom all year round. They bloom, they're like the first to bloom in spring and here we are in autumn and they're still in full force. Ooh. But to save the seeds you wait until they're dry like this and they pull out of their little pod and they're a lot like really, really thin little needles. And these you just plant out. And I believe that they grow true to color. That is, if I were to regrow seeds from this one, I'd get sort of this burnt orange color, or the yellow ones would get yellow. But I just like to mix them up in a huge sort of grab bag style. And these I can I have so many I can sow them out wherever I want and still have enough to plant in the garden. So they're incredibly prolific. They can get like two or three feet tall. I just have rows and rows of them here in all sorts of colors. They're so beautiful. They're basically an eternal flower. And look at all the variations. There's dark reds, and the bees love them, the butterflies love them, the moths love them, and they're one of my favorite flowers to grow. So whether you're growing them to eat, to dry, to color, or just as a beautiful companion plant for your vegetables, I hope you give it a grow. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.